The creation of Bitcoin combined several technologies in order to solve problems that other digital currencies were not able to address. Ever hear of Error 402? It's an HTTP error message for not enough funds or when payment is required, and has been there since the inception of the internet. This is proof that the internet was built with a native currency in mind. This was first addressed by David Chaum, a cypherpunk dedicated to creating anonymous electronic money. David Chaum created a form of centralized electronic money that utilized the same kinds of cryptographic protocols, like public private key cryptography, that support modern cryptocurrency networks. Digicash was a form of early electronic payment, which required software to withdraw notes from a bank and designate specific encrypted keys before it can be sent to a recipient. This advancement of public and private key cryptography allowed electronic payments to become untraceable by the issuing bank, the government, or third parties, and keeps them from accessing personal information through online transactions. The Mark Twain Bank, later acquired by the Mercantile Bank, located in Missouri, was the only U.S. bank supporting DigiCash systems. Deutsche Bank, based in Germany, was the second ba backing bank of DigiCash systems. However, DigiCash filed for bankruptcy in 1998. Created by Adam Back, HashCash was initially designed to limit email spam by forcing email senders to solve computational puzzles. It never saw widespread use as a spam protection mechanism, and despite the name HashCash, it was never a financial instrument. Bitcoin repurposed these proof-of-work puzzles to become the basis of Bitcoin mining or consensus. E-gold was a digital currency backed with gold and introduced in 1996. It was reputed to be used for money laundering and inevitably shut down by the U.S. government. In 1997, Wei Dai explored how to create anonymous distributed systems in which money was created by the Hashcash Proof of Work algorithm. The B Money proposal's main goal was to incorporate a financial unit into the Hashcash Proof of Work algorithm, connecting digital money with proof of work for the first time. Nick Sabo outlined an algorithm for posting interactions containing proof of work to servers which must agree on these transactions. The same consensus model is now built into the Bitcoin blockchain. In 1999, PayPal emerged. PayPal Holdings is an American company operating a worldwide online payment system that supports online money transfers and serves as an electronic alternative to traditional paper methods like checks and money orders. In 2004, Hal Finney attempted to make proofs of work into exchangeable tokens. Hal Finney later became the first person to receive a Bitcoin transaction from Bitcoin creator Satoshi Nakamoto. In 2006, Liberty Reserve was a digital currency that allowed users to choose the backing of their tokens in either euros, US dollars, or ounces of gold. Liberty Reserve services were centralized and they had a reputation for being used for money laundering. The project was inevitably shut down by the United States government over know your customer anti-money laundering laws, as users never had to provide identification. In response to the global financial crisis in 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto publishes the Bitcoin white paper. The document would act as the foundation for the soon-to-be-launched Bitcoin network. On January 3, 2009, the first Bitcoin block was mined, marking the official launch of the Bitcoin network. The next lesson will explore the mysterious creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto.